I'm at home doing nothing. <laughs> adulting with T and I'm back from retirement I know some of y'all probably like what you doing where you been at well it's a long story but we can start from the beginning so let's go back to January um my mother has recently gotten married and you know we have a stepfather now me and my sister and he has been such a great addition to our lives. Like, I'm just so thankful that my mom finally found someone who really appreciates her and loves her. And so, you know, I used to live in Forest, Mississippi, attend school at Scott Central. And now I've moved to Madison, Mississippi. Um, and I attend school at Madison Central High School. And so it's been such a... It's been a quite a change trying to adapt to everything. Um, you know, it's my senior year, so you know that's also a big deal to be moving in the middle of my senior year. But I really, it was a good move though. I really wanted to move at the same time because I knew I could be open to so much more opportunities, moving to the city and being around um, more activities and stuff involved with my school. Um, Cause Scott Central. This, my old school, it's it's really small, like really small. My graduating class went from a class of 50 to three, well, 50 something to a class of 360 something. Yeah, 50 something to 360 something. So, you know, it was, it was a big deal. You know, I'm still learning the school. You know, I've been there for like about three months now. Um, but I've enjoyed it, you know, living here and everything. It's it's so different from what I'm used to, but I love it. Like, I just love experiencing the change and God just, you know, working in me and my family's lives, you know, you know, and having that unity together. It it means a lot. And so, um, as you know, with everything going on now, this there's a coronavirus going around that's been spreading lately and. Um, I haven't been in school. Um, I was off for spring break for a week and now I'm off for an extra two weeks because of the coronavirus and so many people being at risk, especially at my new school where we have so many people there going on vacation for spring break. You know, we don't need people coming back with picking up whatever it is they gained from their trips, you know, and spreading it to everyone. So it is good that they canceled school for the next two weeks, you know, but it is scary for me as a senior because, you know, prom was right around the corner. So what about that? And then, you know, how is graduation going to go? Are we going to graduate in the summer? It's, you know, well, of course you graduate in May in the summer, but in June, that's, you know, who, who's to say? We don't know, but it's going to be so different, so weird. And, you know, people... Of course, people are making jokes about it on social media, like, oh, class of 2020 is going to graduate Google Classroom. But, you know, as a senior, it's it's not really so much of a joke. You know, you work 12 years just to get to this moment only to find that something's in the way of it. It's it's not that big. It's not that funny. But other than that, you know, life has been really great. Um, I live in like a suburban area now. I used to live out in the country, kind of um, on a dead end like. Um, around wooded area and now I'm like in a suburban area all the homes kind of look alike and it's just it's just so different from what I'm used to but I love it and I've met some really great people the people at my school are so nice um, I'm a member of six clubs now six um, I'm a member of National Honor Society Beta Club FCA which is fellow um, fellowship of Christian athletics shine Bible study upstanders and Trespy and Troop Club, which is kind of like a drama club. Well, kind of, we kind of help with drama fest and things. But I'm a member of six clubs now. And when I tell you I've been busy, 
I've been busy, like, like moving like crazy, like my grades, like I take my grades really hard. I'm kind of hard on myself. Um, if you listen to my mother, I'm probably a little too hard on myself. I just, I work really hard. So, you know, graduation, it's, it's going to mean a lot to me. And I just hope everything, I'm praying that everything works out in my favor, that I get to have prom. And I pray that I get to um, have a nice graduation the time I want it to happen. You know, I just want everything to work, you know. So, you know. <laughs>